guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Omomo Loa Kemi at Day Solar. And um, today I have my friend with me. And we're going to be talking about ghosting in a relationship or before a relationship. I don't know. We're just majorly going to be talking about ghosting. So I'll let my friends introduce themselves to you guys first. So. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Chuck. <coughs> hey guys, I'm Ebuka. Oh. Okay, so this is Ebuka Prosper. This is Chuck Nate. Yeah, those are my friends. And today, as, like I said, we're going to be talking about ghosting. So, I'll first like to throw the question that um, what do you guys understand when you hear the word ghosting? Like somebody ghosted somebody, somebody was ghosted. What exactly do you understand by that word? Yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> you, you go dark on the person now. Huh? Like, maybe you, like, you, you, you uh, meet the person, you turn the person on, like you leave the person on, mm -hmm. and then after some point, you leave the person high and dry, you know. You just like, oh, cool. Zoom up. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean by coasting, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So, you, what do you. I agree with you. Same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Okay, so um, can you, like, maybe down memory lane in the past? Can you remember if you as guys have ever ghosted any girl? I did it in a polite way. How do you ghost somebody politely? I don't know, but I just did it in a polite way. You, you, as you notice that I left, but I'm just out of there. No, there is no way ghosting can ever be polite if not talked about. And then if it's talked about, it's no longer ghosting. It's not talked about, there's no polite, just... Like the way I did, the person was still happy. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad type of ghosting. Uh, uh, well, for me, I don't think I've ghosted anybody before. I'm not. Why? Why are you giving me that? <laughs> I don't think I've ghosted anybody before. But I'm like this kind of person that I'm so friendly. I'm so cool. No, I'm not flattering myself. I'm just saying and some guys that are not used to that kind of gesture They see it as me probably leading them on to what I don't know. So I, I can't say I've ever ghosted Anybody so tell me like what is the reason that you've ever ghosted somebody? I wasn't feeling the vibe anymore Anymore. Like, yeah Like it's not it's not my fault. It's from mm. the person. It's the person's fault. What did the person do? Huh? What did the person do? That is confidential. Feel me. You can't be telling them all these kind of things now. It's not right. Confidential. Yeah. But we don't know the person. We don't know the so person. Yeah, we don't know the person. No, they just leave the story first. But oh, you feel like I have a few suspect person. No, you can't even know the person. Nah, really. I like doing matters outside the radar. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Nate? What what reason have you have you had to go see to be honest, yeah. To be honest, when you do when you do that thing, yeah, it's, it's not really a reason for doing it. It's, no, for me, it was yeah, crazy. okay, yeah. But for me, it was more like um, I just got tired. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. There was there was a girl I, I met at mm. some point. Uh, we were talking and all that. Then after some time, I just stopped talking so, and all that. But when I wanted to not go back after, like you know, for some time, you know, mm -hmm. and she was not like. You know, she's over me and shit. Uh, because personally, nobody can ghost me and come back. Come back to where? To to where? <laughs> because for us girls, let me speak on behalf of all girls now. It's very, very awful. Imagine you're like already talking to a guy. You guys are already vibing. You guys are already <laughs> Why you, look me? you guys are already vibing. You guys are already cool. You know, you've hung out a couple of times. Like the vibe was like, you you feel, we feel that the vibe is mutual. And one day he's no longer replying your text, he's no longer picking up your calls, or even when he replies, he's giving you this dryness. There's this dryness in that conversation that we start feeling like, oh, we are probably forcing a conversation. And sometimes we don't even get the end fast because we might be thinking that, oh, okay, maybe he's busy, maybe he's going through something, maybe something is just going on with him, and then we keep on trying to like talk to this guy, but in this guy's head, there is nothing anymore. Like, why are you guys so selfish like that? I'm not selfish. Women are becoming more selfish these days. So, to avoid that selfishness from them, we just disappear, just go. 
Why? I don't know. Don't want stress. Okay, so when okay, this brings me to asking that when men say they don't want stress, they don't want they want peace of mind, they don't want what what exactly do you guys mean by that? Because I don't understand it. The person that has a girlfriend will, will talk more. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I want to understand yeah. because most guys online these days, they'll say yeah, they want to get or give them peace of mind. Even my friends, when I talk to them, they tell me one girls I give them peace of mind. So some of them, some of them are capping though. Don't don't answer them. They want to. Yeah, answer. because because exactly exactly my friend. Because there are some guys that they will tell you that they want a girl that will give them peace of mind. They want this, but they are they have very very shitty attitudes. Like very very. So if your attitude is shitty, how will your girl give you peace of mind? If she mm -hmm. keeps complaining about the same thing. And you're not changing, you're still doing that same thing. And you want her to give you peace of mind. She can't give you peace of mind now. It depends okay. on what they are doing, Sha. Uh, what do you mean by that? You will say you talk about it. Peace of mind. You ask the question what is peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. Yo, to be honest. Okay. You can't home, you can't one hundred percent be peace of mind in a relationship. That's for a fact. Mm. Yet they always ups and downs. So if whenever people say you want peace of mind, that's bullshit. To be honest, I don't believe in that because at some point you both it's not about you know, the girl or anything. You both different human beings. You have different. Of course, of course. So like you know, you being different and then you coming together, you have to now you know. It obviously means you both um trying to you know. You know, either leave something for the other person, you know, compromise basically. <coughs> so when you do things like that, obviously there'll be differences. And that's when the quarrels and all those things happen. So if you if you're always saying peace of mind, I don't even I don't say that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, you know. Yeah, because even if people you say but people say it a lot, like especially guys, they say that oh they, they left the girl because she was not giving them peace of mind. And in my head, I'm always like what exactly is this peace of mind you want? Because okay, your girl is complaining that oh you stay out too late, she doesn't like it. And she keeps giving you the chance for like two, three months, you're still doing the same thing. To the guy, peace of mind is she not complaining anymore. But you're still doing the same thing. How is she not supposed to complain? So I feel like guys don't understand that the reason most girl most girls, most ladies, why we complain is because they still keep doing the same thing because I've been in a situation where like guys are talking like guys are there and I hear the things they say and in my head I'm not trying to be a feminist or women supporting women or whatever but it is what it is what you're doing is wrong but then guys will never tell you it's hard for guys to actually tell each other that a guy you say oh yeah you. yes I'm it's, saying, it's, I used to say you. It, that's you I'm not saying there are no guys I said it's it's rare it's rare. They would rather tell the guy than find somebody that will give you peace of mind. No, I'm not saying that. No, that's how most guys have. Yeah. Okay, so going back to what we were initially talking about. So, um, yeah, ghosting. So, what is the, what reason do you think can make you ghost somebody? If I'm not feeling the guy. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Well, for me. Because obviously when you meet someone, you don't get to know everything about the person. Yeah. So, you know, you need more time to talk. So, I feel like um, most mistakes we do, like you need to, when you meet someone, you need to really get to know the person, you understand? Don't try to date the person or you actually should get to know, you know, understand? But the thing is, why you're talking, you know, why you, you know, talking, communicating like that, you could actually lead people on So, you know, what was the even question again? Yeah, what like the reason. So, yeah. So the reason is because if I later find out that there's something that she do that I don't like, I'll push you. To be honest. Um. Okay. As a so. lady, I think the reason I would go go to somebody, not like I've done it before, but I think the reason I'll go to somebody is, um, maybe the when we got to meet, like when we got to see each other, the physical attraction was not there. Yes. Maybe yeah. physical, you know, you can be vibing with someone's mentality, the way the person thinks, the way the person talks. Mm -hmm. But when you see the person and you're like, the person is this, the face is just like 
two opposite like the face does not match what you've been imagining in your head mm. and um, apparently the person is not polite you met the person and the person is not a polite person like okay maybe we went on a date and the person was rude to the waiter or the waitress or something yeah i know because i could be the waiter tomorrow so you definitely treat me like that and um i don't know because somebody because of that of course uh -huh. of course because somebody is rude to you of course if she's rude to you later, what about you what about me i could be in that position tomorrow that is you're only respecting me because i'm knowing you should respect everybody People should respect yeah, everybody. You're not being practical, to be honest. I understand why you say that, but no, I'm telling you that see, personally, it's 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 not I being would. exposed. Like you should at least try to know why. You know, understand why. why would you when everything that happened is like right in my presence, she could the person could have a good reason for being. What is the good reason? Like later, right? you I'm not saying that won't be reasonable with the person. You realize some of them said don't have sense. When you tell them to be you don't, you, did you get did you hear when I said when everything transpired right in my presence? Okay. And I see that what what the person I came with I guess did. You, I guess you not picture, I guess you pictured the type of scenario. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I'm I saying. Not know, that somebody know. okay, imagine we we like um, we go to a restaurant to eat and um the waitress that welcomed us was somehow to him huh. if he was later somehow to her, I, I, I can see that it's because of what she had done earlier but somebody that didn't do it you're just like hey i'm talking to you you and you know he just flares up at that moment and start talking down on her because the person is a waiter or a waitress right. so the imagination in my head is that if this person was not a waiter he wouldn't talk to her like that so that so me i can be the waitress tomorrow now so that's it. If someone is not polite, politeness goes a long way for me. If I'm not physically attracted to the person, I I can I can just later tell the person like let's just let's just keep it at being friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, let's just keep it at being friends. It can't go beyond this. I'm like yeah. Yeah, there are people that like um, guys that are built, guys that are like muscular and all of that. And there are girls that don't care if you like be lanky, if you like be slim or anything. Are you hearing this? <laughs> of course, there are girls that like lanky guys. Of course, there are guys. There are girls that like short guys. There are, there are, <laughs> there are girls that like short guys. Trust me, there are like, girls like, that like you would just say and you just say, I want a short man. Short people supposed to do. No, you see, maybe you should say it in a way where like, okay, they are fine with it. But I said there are girls that like short men. They like short men. They like short men. Like, don't be tall. It's true, bro. There are girls that like short men. It's I'm true, telling bro. you. They like short men more than tall men. No, don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> no, we don't tall men carry the carries the higher Don't do that. Hey. But like, just like I'm saying, everybody have their physical preference. Uh, like, there, are, there, are, there are men that don't like being with ladies that are smarter than them. Oh, I like someone that's smarter than me. No, no, there are men that like yeah, ladies that are not that are. Trust me, you don't have the pleasure like that. Bro, and I have one person that says. You know, there are some there are some guys that don't want girls that if they talk, she will be able to like counter and like there are guys that don't like it. They will tell you that those kind of girls will make them feel less of themselves or feel stupid or something. They will yeah. tell you that. Yeah, depends on yeah. That's like we just always said. Depends on the guy. But, uh, it depends on this on their on personal. Personal preference. So if I meet a guy and he doesn't, you don't even have to click all of the boxes or the checklist or whatever. But the checklist is, is in an order of arrangements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some people it's looks, then character, you know. Uh, it changes based on people. Uh, yeah, for people it's different. Also, people. Um, okay, okay, you mean based on okay. Yeah. I, I thought you meant um for you mm. for you to like qualify a man for you to qualities in mind. In a man. Person. No, 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 no. It's like you can like this person who is video that you can like this person who is lanky. No, 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 no. I have my, I have my. And, and you know, the funny thing is that sometimes we even have this uh, preference, but we still end up being with somebody that is yeah, entirely yeah, opposite yeah. of yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm saying that um, for character and behavior and all of that, the person might like be, be a very positive person and have good behaviors and all of that. And then when it comes to the physical look, it's not all that, all that, you know what I'm saying? So these are some of the reasons, I won't say petty reasons, because they are actually valid, why um, 
people ghost so as a guy now as guys now what advice can you give to a girl that a guy ghosted move on because because we actually take it like ad break we yeah actually, actually we actually take it like during the relationship just got scattered just take it like just take it like the person is not worth your time then you move on there's no need on there's no need on emphasizing on one on one scene or something just move on they're still like life goes on they Okay. She's like, don't, don't move on. <laughs> you see, we okay. ladies, we can, we can get all up on, all, all up on you guys. You guys have this effect on us, no matter how we do independent. But the, the, thing is that, the thing is that when you guys ghost us, you don't know that things more painful, so the, the, the thing affects us more than you guys. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. You will not admit it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will it affect us more, but mm. the, the only good thing is that it just takes us like max one week to get to it Then we are on to the next one. A month we are still texting this guy. Did I do anything? Did I did I, what, did, I did I say something when we met? Was it what I wore? Was it we start asking questions? Yeah. Well, just move on, like you said. Just okay? move on. I mean, you get to know from the chat itself. Later, you know, just move on. The you don't even have to ask those questions. Yeah. Like, it's not even necessary. No, like, I, I, guess feel, you I feel like it, uh, you might not know. Okay, what if it's a guy that saw you and. Uh, okay, can you ghost a girl because uh, probably her pictures you saw online were like slayish, and then when you saw her, it was just not even yes. close? Yes. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? <laughs> why 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 are your Instagram pictures lying? What's your problem man? God damn. Uh okay, so the advice I would, I think I'll give any lady that a guy has ghosted <clears throat> is one you move on. You th there is th there is definitely another guy for you out yes, there. Yes. That's that's the first thing. Then the second thing is check yourself inwardly, outwardly. Try to check yourself what exactly um, like where exactly you went wrong and the funny thing is you might not even be wrong or you might you might have not done anything or some guys are crazy for it probably the guy was the yeah. price was just not there yeah. people are crazy you know um then talk to your friends about it as you're checking yourself have them check you yeah. also and then to move on don't do let's stay friends don't be friends let him go because if somebody can ghost you without telling you the Someone reasons, that ghosted you will never want to be your friend again. Exactly. So don't say you still want to keep in contact, keep communicating, keep texting because oh well, you guys can still be friends after all of that. So it's not advisable. So just move on. Yeah. There will be somebody that will like you, even if you're not beautiful. So let me ask somebody. you. Let me ask you now. If you, if somebody ghosts you mm. and and he comes back eventually <laughs> and he gives you a good reason, like maybe you could say. Um, you, you look busy, you know, because that's literally the lie every man will say. But you know, sometimes people actually don't get busy. So if he says he was busy, and, you know, what, what, what kind of what kind of really just what kind of thing are you doing that you cannot just say hi or something? Like once in a while, what, what kind of doing? busy is what that? What are you doing? I said maybe maybe maybe. Doing? Okay, imagine we're supposed to meet on a date, and the guy stood me up. Probably he came there, saw me from afar, and probably didn't <coughs> like me or something. Trauma. And he stood me up and didn't pick my calls, didn't reply my text. He now he better he better come and tell me when he was on his way. A, a, a truck hit him, and he has been in the hospital for the past two yeah. months. And I have to see Victoria evidence that he was really at the hospital because that's what, unfair. What, what the is really reason? unfair. Okay. So what reason can make you go back and say? That's what I'm saying. To be honest, when I even go stand the girl that I was talking about. Mm. It was more like I was not. Like, <laughs> you know when you're tired of just being social, you just you just don't get that vibe sometimes. You just even text back or that fast reply. So it went on for like you know, few days like that. I was just I went dark. Yeah, sometimes no intentional. Too. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You know, you should have that mind. You really should have that mindset. Like, yeah, that's when it's like maybe yeah. few days or something. Can be like, oh, I had to quickly travel for something. I just got busy with. Well, that's when it's you, like two days. You know, Sometimes when I forget to text back and I get multiple messages coming up, 
You might think I'm goosey, but I just forgot. If I am important, you don't have to wait for me to message you. I should come to your mind and be like, oh wow, this girl, she has not even messaged me. Search for my See, name. I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a perfect example. Okay. See, okay. No. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, sorry. Okay. So like, um, like, can you think of any good example? Like you can be willing to accept when a guy says he that's the reason why he ghosted you. He lost a family member. He had an accident. Okay, listen. Now, um, so you're telling me you'll be fine with that no matter how long it is? No, like no matter how long. On the it, it depends on the period. Okay, so now fine. If it's that, if that's the reason, and then, do you know the, the, there's also a um, reason why it could take longer because he just was scared to even come and say anything. It has happened. So he wouldn't even know how to come and explain himself. This is one reason why you keep, you know, postponing. You 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 just not even, you know, have the mindset to even come and text you. So and I then he like should stay there. He's not bother ever ever coming back. Mm. It's not big deal. He will find someone else. I will find someone else. <laughs> in fact, I think the one time I was ghosted was not even relationship wise ghosted. It was like a friend ghosted. Like we were friends. Dating was not even in the picture, but we were so cool. We were talking. We, like we talk almost every day. Like the vibe was there. The, the whole thing was mutual, like we were friends. I even got to know his other friends. He also got to know. Then all of a sudden, it just started with, hey, what's up? What are you doing today? Maybe he got someone pregnant. Then <laughs> the reply will come maybe midnight. And I'm like, yo, you had like 20 hours to reply this. Then from there, it graduated, graduated to two days, then three days. And I was like, yo, is it that like you're busy? Oh, are you busy? Is it work? Did something come up? What's going on? Why do you keep replying me late? Nothing. You know, sometimes you forget because now you said this, I remember someone here that I'm texting now. Like, I do think... <laughs> so, it's not like they want to make you remember or what? Yeah, the only thing that made me remember that it's not, it's not intentional, to be honest, sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes so, intentional. like, they just send messages and oh, you even forget to reply. There are many things going on in our head. How they tell many you? things. So you might just take it as ghosting, but when we start talking again, I will still have to beg you, you accept. You forgive me, we'll move on. Yeah, you accept. You have to bring a valid a valid it depends on your level of friendship or whatever with the person. That's true. That, that's how I feel. It depends on you. Not somebody you talk every like this, like. like this like this person now, when I don't reply the person for like a day mm -hmm. and I and I text her back, she won't reply again for like one week. Then the following which will start applying all my fuck offs. We are not dating you. No. Chai! Yeah, oh, because wow. she felt you started it first. Then she took one with then she started writing long notes. Okay now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so what advice do you have for anybody that has the intention of ghosting somebody? Because people have intention, they will be like, if I meet her and she no fan and she no wanting, 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 ah, I don't go call her again. I won't call her again, I won't text her again. If if you because good. for you guys, for you guys especially, physical appearance goes a long way for you. That's good. I'll, I'll give you guys the perfect, the perfect distance to tell them. Okay. When you say, instead of doing it with just meet her and just tell her you have a girlfriend and you just don't want anything serious, you want something on the side, they will run. <laughs> <laughs> It's crappy. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think when you're telling them. I don't think the girls these days when you tell them that stuff. Girls back out. No, no, no. They like. Back out. Uh, uh, I'm not they like your girlfriend. They like. They like you. They like you. They won't back out. Yeah, really like you. And the same place all the Yeah. They like you. They will not back out. They tell you. Yeah. Like they will back out. They'll tell you yeah. I didn't stop me your girlfriend. I did. Do they know your girlfriend? But if you know, if you know, you're 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 you becoming close with the person and you don't want it again, just try to talk to the person. If you, if you don't reach the person's hope, I then just bring yeah, it. Yeah. If you if you are close to that person, talk to the person, to the person. him or her, whoever, talk to the person, then move. Mm -hmm. Okay, See. the advice I would say I have I have mm -hmm. for anybody intending to ghost anybody is that um, why ghost when you can base your um, initial communications on making it clear that you just want to be friends. And when the person now actually ticks all of your boxes, make your um your dating intentions known because if you ask me out and then we end up meeting then you ghost me thunder will fire you it's very simple mm -hmm. but if we're friends you know when you're friends with somebody they are like limited expectations from somebody who is a friend and somebody who is talking to you about 
relationship yeah so don't come to me with relationship then we meet up because i'm now i'm not as beautiful as you expected you now go, <laughs> Oh, not require you. So best so guys have sense. That's yes. yeah. So just just have sense. You don't have to approach every girl with intentions of dating. Make sure talk to the person, get to know the person, like get to know the person beyond calls and text. Meet up, see the person, spend time with the person, then make your dating intentions. No, don't text me first day and say you want to date me. <laughs> <laughs> then you meet me. And you say, oh, you thought I was I was and lighter in complexion, or you thought yeah. I was taller because you're into tall girls. Then, <laughs> so that's it from me, guys. Do you have anything to add? I'm into tall girls, so. <laughs> Why the same market? <laughs> Why the same? My video can't be over. That's all we have. I'm not. I'm definitely not. <laughs> That's all we're going to be talking about today. You can drop your contribution, of course, in the comment section. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everybody that you know and that you do not know. Please, please subscribe. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Peace out.